Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and right now you're looking at my 350 gallon aquarium. A couple months ago, I gave you guys a video showing these little pre packed fish right here, which are sold for human consumption. I bought these to feed my peacock bass, this guy in the front who was before refusing them. Needless to say, let's just toss it in there. Oh, look, I missed. I'll give that a little push. Oh, I missed again. One more final push. So one of you guys asked me if I could give you guys a cinematic tour of this 350 gallon aquarium. So today I want to give you guys a look at just how beautiful these fish are and why this right now is my favorite tank. Um, I also have a new fish in this aquarium, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. Okay everyone, so now I'm going to give you guys a quick update of this aquarium and show you what's going on. So I'm making this clip right after I made that opening clip where I fed this peacock bass, so he's still trying to digest that. And while he's digesting it, breaking it up, I guess all the other fish, they smell the little chunks um, being broken off, so they're all looking for food. So really quickly, um, I have a few more pizzas of smell in here that I'm going to um, just give to them.
Now these are the two peacock bass. They really, um, they're not as greedy or as, as crazy as my other peacock bass. They're more mild and they only like pellets. So that's actually a good thing. So we're gonna toss in some massive ore. They like pellets, so I'll just sit that up here. And we have a handful, this is maybe 20 to 30 individual pellets. And you know this, for those of you who ever purchased Mass for your delight, you know that this bag of food is not a cheap bag, but it's what these peacock bags love. And it's definitely good for um, predator fish like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss a few in. Now they're a little spooked because um, I have the camera out, so they're not gonna start eating until they feel that it's safe. I already have the new guy coming in to check out this food. And then eventually, once they know it's safe, everybody else will start coming in. The Midas has to get his own first. But yeah, everything in this tank is doing awesome. Every day, I just um, enjoy this tank more and more. I appreciate it more and more. And that's because these fish are just a work in progress. They're non-stop growing, they're non-stop producing colors. And just as they grow, they just make this tank a lot more enjoyable. So the latest addition to this aquarium is my Crincicla lenticulata, which is the pike cichlid, which is right behind the flag that would shield this. Um, I've wanted to add a pike cichlid to this aquarium. This tank, the theme is South American. As far as fish, the only fish that's not from South America is this guy right here, this mighty cichlid, not mighty, this red devil. Eventually I will be taking them out and I may be replacing them with my red spot severum. But for now, um, the tank that he has to go in, it's not ready for him. So for now, he's in this aquarium. Now everybody else in this tank is from South America. So I've wanted to add a pike for the longest. You know, there's different types of pike. The, um, one of the most beautiful pikes is the zebra pike, but that pike costs about $600. And I'm definitely unwilling to spend that much. So the next best option, in my opinion, was this guy, which is the spotted, spotted face pike, also known as, or scientific name being, Crincicla lenticulata. He's been in the tank for about a week and a half, and I'm definitely loving his behavior so far. Um, considering just how, how out he is, he's not shy, he's not hiding. He is a little bit on the aggressive side, like that little cave that he's in. That used to be the home of my black ghost knife fish, and he kicked them out first day. And every now and then I catch him trying to fight these peacock bass, even though they're much bigger than him. Right now the red devil getting aggressive during feeding time. Um, but usually nothing too much to worry about. But yeah, that's the new pike cichlid. He could reach about maybe 18 inches in length. Right now he's only about 8 inches. I definitely love his pattern. And um, I can't wait to see what it becomes. Other than that, everybody else doing well. As I said, I want to get this guy out of this tank. And eventually I bring down my Red Spot Severum and possibly my Feste. But you know, last time the Feste was insane. Um, my Flag Topa Shield is still one of my favorite fish. Just awesome, very peaceful, doing his thing. Peacock bass, these two are my favorite fish in this aquarium. Um, I just love them. Being in this tank, they definitely started growing a lot faster compared to being in a 210. And now I finally have a way to discern the difference between them. This guy right here being the bigger one. Um, beating this one by just a couple of centimeters. But yeah, these guys are awesome. The Oscar cichlid, always enjoy him. Definitely very mild, but mostly most likely because the Red Devil is keeping them in check. If the Red Devil was not in the tank, I definitely think that the Red, that the, my, that, um, the Oscar will cause a lot of problems with the Peacock Bass because they're not afraid of him, so they will do a lot of fighting. But because the Red Devil's in here, he keeps the Oscar in check. Arowana doing his thing, still growing like a beast. He's pretty picky when it comes to eating. Um, I like to feed him Hikari floating pellets, but he's been a little picky. He likes the smell and the shrimp, but I really have no problem with that as long as He's growing nicely and as long as he's healthy. Then this guy right here. Once again, he's no longer eating live feeders, which is great. He's now eating smelt. Eventually, I would like to have some pellets inside of the smelt just so that he can get a little bit more vitamins. But it's definitely awesome to give him off to those feeders. Um, he had a whole piece, which is like the first time I ever fed him a whole piece of smelt. So it's probably going to take him about a half an hour to fully digest it and to start breathing regular. At the end of it, he'll probably have like a little pot belly and that will be gone by tonight. And then we have the fish that are not seen too often. Um, back there you can see my four line picked this catfish. Well, you really can't see them, but you can see the whiskers moving around. I have two of them. 
and they pretty much stay in the shadows. I did want to get a little bit more because I know that these Pictus catfish are schooling catfish and the more you get the more active they'll become. So you can see the face of my larger one back there. Uh, maybe in the future I'll get another two. And then back here under this piece of driftwood I have my black ghost knife. Um, he was very active until the pike came. The pike started fighting with him. So he is a little bit less active but um, he still comes out every now and then just hopefully he finds another comfortable spot and then once he finds a nice spot he'll be a little bit more active but yeah that's a look at the 350 gallon aquarium when it comes to any new additions besides the pike i would like to add a certain pleco maybe a royal pleco because those plecos do eat driftwood and the reason why i would want that is because these driftwoods are pretty fresh in his tanks every now and then i get pieces of bark and other pieces that fall off and i think that this pleco that eats the wood will help um, make that a minimum besides that any other fish I'm really um, satisfied with the stock of fish that I have currently I really don't feel the need to add too many more when you consider their full size the arowana could reach maybe about three feet so that's about from the end of the tank to maybe this this much so imagine a fish that big I think um, that's pretty much sufficient for this aquarium these peacock bass could reach 28 inches which is maybe double the size they are now so when I with this tank I'm looking as far as long term seeing these fish as adults and I think the current stock isn't bad but eventually you know I will be mixing and matching experimenting to see what works best of course as I told you the red doe he's going to come out and I have the severum I have the feste I have some grouse in this tank like my um, geophagus a few fish I want to work with to see who fits in this tank the best but as of now let's look at the three 50. As always, let me know what you guys think about this video. Any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As always, you know I have all these different aquariums. A lot to show you guys, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. No.